Hey guys, I'm back. I'm playing Redungeon, and today I'm going to be showing you how to beat your high score if it's really far distance, and also trying to beat my high score. So I'm not sure if I can beat my high score because it's currently 555, which is a pretty far distance, as what my uh, skill level is. But I do beat it like every week or so, so it shouldn't be that hard. So first of all, out of all the characters, the best one for traveling fast distances, well, the fastest character is definitely Kazan. I think that's how you say it. Sorry if I sp said it wrong. But um, he compares with Rib for for this distance. But since I don't have Rib yet, I'll just use Kazan. Because, first of all, watch this. You can just... It's a bad example because something got in my way. You can just storm through, like, 50 or so meters. And if you don't bump into anything and you're a really fast tapper, you can actually go, like, 80 to 100 meters in one go. Which is one of the best abilities in the game. And another great thing is his um, abilities that save him from uh, falling. Those are extremely good. Now, I'm really rushing it. And that's something you don't want to do. You want to make sure you don't run into any traps. Because remember, he's not invincible. None of the characters are. Rib is nearly invincible. But he falls to death. Uh, whenever you're going too fast. So you don't want to do that either. And also he only has like four lives. Or five lives. So I'm going to use my ability. And hopefully nothing gets in my way. So I can go really far. And boom. I was almost like 50 meters in one go. So they did add a couple new things. First of all they added the... So things can now, uh, inanimate objects can now move around, like the coins move around, and the fire and lightning, they move around independently without anything else pushing them, like the little, I don't know what they're called, traps. And they don't need, like, a source. They can just go around. Another thing you want to do is be sparing with your abilities, because... Once they're gone, they're gone. Unless you find, like, a fountain to renew your abilities. But that's going to take a while because those don't start appearing until the late game. And trust me, not having that ability is basically uh, being down to your last life. So you want to treat each one like it's your only life. Because once you lose them, it will be. Okay, that was not fair. What? So I'm saving up for a rib right now. I um, probably won't be able to max him for a good, like, a day or two. Because of his massive costs. I'm pretty sure he's cheap to upgrade, though. Hopefully. And I heard they did add a new upgrade for him in the new update. The new update isn't that big. But it's still an update. At least they didn't forget about the game. And they added this new creature... So, what I just did there, you don't want to do it too often. I just went for the, what's it called, coins while I was flying. It's not really a smart move because it's kind of wasting your flight time. And you want to go as far as possible while you're flying. So, don't go for things like this. This is a trap to see how greedy you are. And if you go for it, you will most likely die. Now, I have no more... Um, Okay, how do I do this? Boom. Okay, so I have no more extra lives for my flight ability. I don't even know what to call it. I just can't fall anymore because if I do, I'll die. So I need to be very sparing until I find a fountain. And you don't want to do this. Definitely do not do this because 100% of the time you will die because you don't know where it leads. So learn from my mistakes. So what I just did there was a bad move. I didn't see what was around me. And I ended up going to a dead end. Not only were the things chasing me, but I also didn't know where that teleporter went, so I couldn't follow it. Okay. 
So once you get into the late game, there the chests and coins start getting a lot more rewarding. That's why going beating your high score is so important. It's not just hey look I beat my high score. It's also getting a lot more coins because first of all the chests that are worth around a hundred coins start appearing more often once you get to like 200 meters 300 meters and also you start seeing more uh red coins and blue coins which are better and eventually once you get to like 500 or so meters red coins are all you see i saw somebody with a high score of around like a thousand five hundred a thousand six hundred literally like every tile was covered with a red coin not every, but, like, if there was a trap, there would be a red coin next to it. No joke. So, what I just did there was very risky. And if you're going for a high score, don't do risks. Because, trust me, you'll regret it. So, I have a friend, he's very fast at tapping. It's because ever since he was a little kid, he's been playing clicker games like this. Well, this isn't a clicker game. Like, Crab War and... There's this other one called Cookie Clicker. I don't play it, though. I know it because he plays it so much. Um, one time he stood there for, like, about an hour and tapped... I'll show you how fast he tapped once I get my ability back, because I do not want to tap very fast while I'm still vulnerable. Alright. So he tapped, like, that fast for about an hour, which, that's basically superhuman to me. Like, I can barely do it for a couple seconds and keep it up. Uh, let alone an hour. So, when you're blinded like this, you don't want to take many risks, because you don't know what's around you. You could mistake a sword trap for one of those things where you have to, uh, time it right so you get the extra coins. And you do not want to do that. I've done it many times before, so, believe me. I also don't want to make this video too long, because if I do, that's going to be very bad. And I won't be able to beat my high score all in one video. Which I do want to do. So, I'm just going to stop talking so I can focus better. So, sorry for the lack of audio. Okay, yeah, if you run into one of those, unless you have your flight ability up and ready, you are going to have to basically either um, have 100 coins ready so you can redo it. Oh, this is good. Okay, yeah, one, the flight ability is great for stuff like that. If you uh, accidentally time it wrong and you don't get the 100 chests, which is very sad... It's very depressing whenever you don't get the 100 chest, because it's like right there, and it's like, oh look, you didn't get a 100 chest. Okay, so watch. This mimic right here? Run. Like, as soon as you see it, run. Because you do not want that thing to kill you. So just to beat my high score, I'm going to do a redo. Usually, if you do a redo, you're going to instantly die, so don't do it. Okay, then, I'm going to have to get around this somehow. Best way to get around traps like these is just completely avoid them. So, I'm around 100 meters away from my high score. Oh god. Okay, so once you get around here, you're going to start being a lot more careful. Because it's actually possible that you beat your high score now. And you do want to do that. So you have to be aware, and look how many red coins there are, you can't even count them anymore. Basically every coin is red. So, if I can get like 600, I'm going to be very happy. Okay, yeah. Aww. Okay, well I'm not going to do another redo. So I guess I didn't beat my high score, sorry. I let you guys down. Well, actually I still have time. Okay, I'm gonna do one more run. Uh, once I get to like 300, I'll unpause the video so you guys can see. So real quick, I'm just gonna try to show you what a really good um, 
five seconds of light looks like. Hopefully I don't run any into anything that will stop me. Boom, 59 meters in one go. Probably a bit less because I had a bit of a head start. Oh, I actually died. I was at around 100 meters, so not very impressive. That was impressive, though. I finally got that. Usually, I will take Kazan because he's really good at getting stuff you missed. So I'm going to stop talking and keep trying to beat my high score. Okay, so I actually found a fountain. So it's very rare. It's about 1 in 5 games. So you shouldn't depend on the fact that oh I might find a fountain so yeah be very sparing of your abilities because you do not want to go ahead and lose them when you really need them so I'm around a hundred meters I mean 300 meters um yes I did use a revive because if you're trying to beat your high score let's face it you're not gonna do it without dying at least once but I have you can too, but if you're rushing it like me, you're definitely going to die, so hold on. Alright, as you can see, I just beat my best, which was 555. Five, five. Um, I'm not sure if it got on screen, but I'm going to try to go as far as possible. I admit, I kind of cheated. I used two revives, which you should never do, to be honest. Never use more than one revive. So, no, it wasn't legit, but... I gotta make up my promise to my subscribers. So I'm gonna see how long I can keep going for. And I will end the video when I get to. Well, basically, when I die, I'll end the video because. Well, now I can title the video. Okay. <laughs> well, now I can title the video I Beat My Best Score. Uh, I actually beat it by about 100, which was really good. Um, I wasn't expecting that. So, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, all that good stuff. And I might make a series out of this because it's a really fun game. And I feel like there's a lot to watch. So, if you want me to make a series, tell me in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.